Right, you probably remember this from last week. What's been happening here is I've been making a lot of different surfaces, playing with paper and fabric and things, um, for something that's not going to happen for quite some time. I can't really say too much about it, but I've been sampling these surfaces with a specific end in mind that you probably won't hear about um, oh, for nearly a year. But never mind, you'll see what's going on here. So I'm wondering, I need these, I need... I need pieces of this that are unworked, pieces of everything that I made that are unworked. But meantime, I'm making, I'm working with them to try and see what the possibility is for them and hoping that will inspire, inform, lead me to other surfaces, you know, so there's method in all this. I'm not just creating all these samples that I need, using them and then going, oh dear, I've got no samples. I do plan to make more and more and more. So what I'm thinking is I want to try another one of those samples that I made at the time I made these ones and try it against a piece of this, um, which is something that I make quite a lot. So what I was wondering was these two, if they live together. Now when I'm putting these together, what I'm thinking is I love this edge and I don't want to lose that edge. So I'm wondering about laying that over there and then attaching it in such a way that I don't lose the edge because the edge is so beautifully fragile so I'm probably I'm going to pin it now I don't know where to have it see I don't want to put it there because I don't want to cover that up there's like a tear there which I like which I can enhance with stitch so and I don't like this cut edge it's because this has been cut from a larger piece of this and um, so perhaps it is better here to disguise that cut edge something else can happen down here to disguise that one so if I just pin it for now um, and then just what I'll do is I'll pin it like this and I'll consider it for a while because when I say I don't want to lose that edge I don't want to lose it actually I've answered my own question what I don't want to do is stitch it down so that it, it becomes part of this and it's not as visible so perhaps the answer is to just stitch down along here leaving that free now i'm not really loving what's going on here because i don't like that cut edge um so i'm wondering if i've got anything else we can go on there I do have I mean, I don't necessarily want it to be square either. Um, I just don't want that edge. Maybe I don't need to add anything to it. Maybe I just need to maybe fold it over. Because it's not as stark. And even if, say I was going to buttonhole that edge... I feel like I need something there to soften the whole thing. That's much better, isn't it, I think? Um, but then I've still got this cut edge, but then I could hide that with stitch now. So maybe if I pin that, I won't actually stitch on this with you. I'm just like thinking out loud. It helps me to do this because it's always better to talk about something. So what I would need to do is make a decision on whether that, and it does to me look much better than having that straight line. So then I would have to trim that at the back, wouldn't I? So I'm going to be brave, fearless me this and I keep this don't throw anything away little scraps like this are amazing um, so yeah so I still don't like the straight edge but the straight edge can be disguised with embroidery and then down here don't stitch that down because it will lose its fragility and its uniqueness in terms of form the natural formation of that edge so it'll be a case of stitching down here and then look how when I'm pressing down like that look how that's kind of raising up so it's even more obvious 
so yeah so that i think that's something for me to work with now to start embroidering so it would be well i could do anything down here i could just do running stitch i could do french knots i could probably i would most likely be likely to do bullion knots um because even if they were secured here they're not going to infringe on that that lovely edge and then they could perhaps come all the way around to here the bullion knots and then here to disguise that probably would do french knots because you can do a mass of french knots that will completely hide that cut edge and there you have another sample so i've got that one and this one um so i do need to focus and get my head down and make some more of these and i am informed by what i'm doing here it is giving me more ideas so it's it's a what's the word it's an accumulative thing it's cumulative and um, as i work on each one of these i get a new idea so that's that's something else going to go on my to-do list okay <laughs> 